four weeks out. Um, training's going real well. I just got done sparring 14 rounds yesterday. Um, emotionally, uh, you know, fighting's a, a roller coaster of emotions. So, uh, you know, my levels of emotion goes up and down. Um, you know, it's every day I think about this fight. It's not even every day. It's every second I think about this fight. Um, you know, and it's every day I, I stare stare at Jason. I, I you know, I study I study him, not what he does. I study him. You know, and um, come come August sixth, I'm gonna be ready to uh, to show that vintage Bobby Campbell. That's for sure. The event is 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 it's going good. We have uh, 17 fights as of today. Um, I mean, we have action-packed fights. Um, you got you guys got to remember, I'm a I'm a I'm a one-man team. I'm I'm this is it. This is the army. I'm I'm the army, and I'm doing everything for the show. Uh, so it's a lot. It's a lot of pressure on me. And uh, sometimes that pressure gets to me on everything, on contracts, on, on tickets, on matchups, on weights. You know, it gets to me, but um, that's the name of the game. You know, I, I know I know what I signed up for. I signed up to do this show, to have my fighters on the show, and I signed up to, uh, to fight a stud, you know. So I'm going to be ready, you know, mentally. I'll be ready in four weeks, and I'm, I'm ready now. So, I'll, by the way, I'm, I'm 154 pounds as of today. The limit's 154. I don't even got to do a weight cut. It's easy, easy work for me. So today, um, this morning, you know, I do, did my run. What I normally do every day. Um, and then uh, I'm about to do some strength and conditioning work with, uh, with my brother and have Josh run the clock. You know, we like to put in, like to mix it up. You know, we sparred yesterday. My brother was in the sparring rotation. You know, he's getting ready for his fight, which is, which is it's cool. You know, I got my brother fighting on the show. I got my, my, my prodigy, who's 18 years old, fighting on the show. I got, my, got one of my kids fighting on the show who's 12 years old. You know, and then, you know, I got so many guys fighting on the show. So it's actually, uh, it's funny to be able to, 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 I sparred all of them yesterday. So it's like, it's cool to be able to spar my students. I even uh, take some of them out for runs. So it's, it's a great atmosphere to do this my last time, to be able to share these moments with these guys. Um, so I got, a, I got a text message from my brother and I actually thought it was a forward. I thought he forwarded me a text message from someone and said, hey, I know I'm old and I haven't fought in years, but since it's your last fight, I'm thinking I should fight again. So I wrote back right away. I said, who's that from? Laugh out loud. And he waited a couple, couple minutes to respond back. And I go, oh, crap, that's from him. He wants to fight. I'm like, oh, wow. I, I was in shock. I didn't know, you know, everyone thinks I got him out of retirement. No, he, he hit me up. It was his idea. So uh, I was in shock, but it's awesome to have him there. My name is Tom Campbell. I'm Bobby Campbell's brother. I will be fighting August 6th at Mulcahy's in Wantour. When Bobby announced he was coming out of retirement and he's going to have just one fight, and he was like, listen, he's like, I'm going to need your help. We're going to have a lot of people fight. I'm going to get the whole team to fight. Everybody's going to fight on the card. It's going to be amazing. And then I sat there and thought about it. I was like, well, listen, my brother's coming out of retirement. Everybody from the gym is fighting. And I was like, this is a great opportunity. What? Once in a lifetime opportunity for me to fight again on the same card that my brother's fighting on. Let me come out of retirement too. So I shot Bobby a text message. I was like, hey, you know, <laughs> I haven't fought 19 years. I'm an old man. Do you think I still got it? Do you think I can still do it? And he's like, let's do it. Let's, let's do it. And uh, basically uh, looking at Bobby right now as more, not only my training partner, and, but more of my training of my coach. And, you know, he's li literally been, you know, coaching me along. And listen, he's come a long way you know, a lot further, you know, I'm an amateur, Bobby's professional, he's gone a long way in his professional career. And, you know, looking up to him and looking up to him, you know, to get in his vice and, and, ha and having help, help me uh, with my training camp. Training for this fight has definitely been, you know, been a little bit tougher, just me getting, you know, back, getting back to that level of, of competition shape. But man, once, once you get back into it and I'm feeling good, uh, training camp has been going really well, uh, you know, especially Bobby, you know, he's been pushing me real hard. So uh, we're looking good. Growing up is actually pretty funny because, uh, you know, me and Bobby, you know, we were more uh, just helping each other out. We were always there for each other. You know, back in the, in the days when we were younger and Shaolin Kempo days, you know, where you're learning your forms and your katas and your combinations and they were helping each other. And, you know, and then uh, obviously he started, he started around four. Uh, but obviously I was already, I'm older, so I've been studying a little bit longer, so I'd help him with his moves and techniques like that. We were blessed with uh, my father being able to have a, uh, turn the garage basically into a mini dojo. And I mean, we had everything in there, heavy bags, double end bags, speed bags, mitts, 
focus mitts, everything. And then, you know, so me and Bobby would train with each other and help each other in, in there and, and, you know, and help each other compete. He's always been by my side. And again, he's always been in my corner most of the time physically, again, unless he was, he had a fight, you know, right before, right, right after me on the same card. But other than that, mo you know, he's there, always there in my corner. And same thing with me. I think I've only missed maybe a handful of fights on his and some of them were just because they were overseas and some of the things that, you know, I just couldn't attend. But I would say 98% of the fights I've been there and been in his corner. So being able to fight on the same card as my brother coming out of retirement. I mean, uh, when was the last time the Campbell brothers fought on the same card? It was pretty awesome. Uh, but I have a few other reasons. And, uh, you know, one of them is, listen, my kids never saw me fight. My oldest son is going to be 17 at the end of this year. So it would be just cool just to see them being able to see their, their, their dad and their husband fight. But also um, just to get in there and, you know, sometimes it's, it's hard to get away from the game. So sometimes you still have that little bit of fire and, and you know, inside you and you just want to get, you know, get in there. And, and you know, I want to be able to show my kids, hey, you know what? Your old man still got it. My final message is, guys, listen, get your tickets for August 6th. This is going to be a crazy show. 19 years in the making. I'm coming back. I'm going to put on a good show. I'm ready to go in there. I'm ready to get that W. Do not miss Bobby's fight. Bobby's fight's gonna be, you know, uh, fireworks. We were talking July 4th just passed. Well, guess what? We're gonna have more fireworks and the rest of Team Campbell. So make sure you guys get your tickets and be there. Uh, hello, my name is Josh Prescott. Um, I've known Bobby now for roughly 18 years uh, through the gym. I, I also knew Bobby for probably about 10 years prior to that uh, mm -hmm. through school. Um, but I started going to the gym in roughly 2005. How I started cornering for Bobby, so um, in, in the beginning, the gym was uh, filled with a lot of interesting characters, and I think probably I was the only one that could kind of maybe hasn't been hitting the head as much as everybody else. So, uh, so I started working the corners of all of the fighters from the gym with Bobby and Tommy. And there was, back in the day where, when Campbell's was really big into the amateur fight game, uh, we, we had a lot of guys fighting in a, like we, we filled the card every single time. So we'd have like eight, nine, ten fighters, and from wrapping hands to just going from the back to the front, we needed more than just Bobby or Tommy to do that. So we kind of just, I kind of just kind of slid into that because I was, you know, the only one probably not fighting on the card, uh, and it just became very, uh, very addicting, uh, a lot of adrenaline, emotion, and then Bobby was obviously still fighting at the time, and I became close to Bobby's trainer, and then uh, just. Little by little by little, I started actually doing training with Bobby's trainer, and then I started actually cornering slowly after that. Cornering Bobby's fights are challenging because there's a lot of raw emotion. When when you've known somebody for this long, uh, it's uh, you know it's their health, it's their well-being. You know you know them, you know their families. So it's it's trying to segment the the fight right and the logistics of the fight and winning the fight versus the emotional side. Um, but Bobby's done this a million times, and um, I think this is a great opponent for his last fight, or I hope it's his last fight, because he said it about a million times it's his last fight. But I, I see him coming out, you know, with the win, and uh, I, I, just, I just look forward to it. I suggest being there, because it's the environment itself is going to give you goosebumps, and, and I, I think it's just going to be an amazing night. Uh, to have Josh in my corner, you know, is great. He's like my therapist, you know. Uh, people don't understand the mental, the mental version of, of, of fighting is, uh, I always say fighting 70% mental, only 30% physical. So your head has to be right. And, uh, Josh has always been there to, to basically listen to me whine like a little baby, but, but always have good advice to, to pick me back up. So it's, it's awesome to have him in my corner. Like I said, there's so many things on this show that, that means so much to me. My brother, you know, my son's going to be there, you know. My dad's gonna be there, you know, like everyone's gonna be there. All my fighters are gonna be there. So this is, and it's my promotion. So it's a lot of pressure, but you know, the bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, we're at a month out. Uh, we're ready. Everyone on the show is ready. Uh, my opponent's ready. I know he's training hard every day. Um, and um, I think uh, it's his farewell fight. It's my farewell fight. I think. Uh, it's a fight you guys don't want to miss. I know he has a lot to prove, and I actually have a lot to prove this fight more than people realize. There are few bonds stronger than that of brothers. Fuel that with the camaraderie that burns within these four walls and the relationships that are soldered by blood, sweat, and grit, 
and you have something very, very special. For most, a family affair is spent in a place of leisure. For the Campbell brothers, they will make the walk for glory one final time. And they will do so side by side. The final curtain.